class uh, welcome to IS 460 and 560 project management I'm uh, professor Fahmi Jalani we'll be covering on uh, chapter 2 which is uh, organization context uh, strategy structure and culture so as we all know uh, project strategy um, it's more of a science and also it's an art form um, when doing a project you're not alone um, for example uh, let's say uh, Tesla wanting to create a new car uh, all different departments have to work together which lead to cross-functional decision uh, it could be hardware, software uh, and firmware all those uh, department uh, this will enable them to finish the project and uh, not also not forgetting uh, to follow the vision and mission of the company and um, from there uh, completing it uh, seamlessly uh, which usually is not the case um, not all project is perfect see um, each project is technically a here is stepping stone uh, when a company decides to do a project it could be um, creating a new model of a car new model of a software okay um, new processes new management okay uh, in trying to improve themselves and uh, it's basically driving force here for example we see uh, uh, I mentioned earlier de uh, developing a product or process so so you have to re-engineer uh, not reinventing the wheel but enhance the wheel for example um, changing direction and product portfolio configuration okay uh, creating new product line for example Apple creating from iPod creating iPhone okay and iPad for example uh, cross organization communication efficiency uh, in this case uh, installing a ERP system where HR accounting payroll uh, and and other department are communicating to each other so next we'll take a look at uh, the figure which shows clearly the relationship where you have the strategy at the bottom goals and program uh, pretty much following the objective and leading to the mission of the company management stakeholder management Okay, uh, whether it's individual or group, okay, everybody has a stake. Okay, uh, everybody plays a part in the project, uh, either positive or negative. Okay, uh, it does affect the outcome of the project. Um, internally, we have the top management, accountant, other departments, okay, project members. External, we have uh, could be shareholder, client, competitor, supplier. Okay, and next, take a look at the relationship uh, where the project manager has to communicate with all the various, various type of uh, uh, players or department in order to make the project project a success. Uh, next we take a look at how to manage it okay, assessing the environment when is a good time for them to communicate or ha have a group meeting for example uh, let's say the project is a different time zone when is a good time for them to communicate uh, what's the goal principle of, of that actor technically what, are you want, what do you want to achieve at the end uh, everybody capability okay? um, 
and also addressing the problem and trying to get a solution uh, and also improve the solution next we have the cycle of project management uh, where the project team verify the stakeholder okay, uh, information gathering What's the mission? What's the weakness? Uh, what's the strategy? Your behavior, okay, right? And implementation of the project, and it's technically a cycle or the feedback, and everything is related to each other. So we have uh, three elements of structure. Okay, uh, number one, we have uh, reporting relationship. Okay, uh, in a project you do have uh, hierarchy, for example, you have uh, engineers, you have managers, uh, mid-level, top level, okay? uh, how are they reporting, the chain, the flow, communication. Uh, next we have uh, groupings, yeah, I mentioned about department, okay? and how are they communicating through emails, phone call, uh, chat group, for example. Okay. Forms of uh, organization and structure. So, like a company, okay, uh, project does have department, okay, uh, where it could be from existing company, uh, picking a few people, key people to focus on the project and uh, there will be this will technically uh, create a project team with uh, different sets of uh, hierarchy and uh, function Next, we take a look at the strengths and weaknesses of uh, project management uh, function. So, in terms of strength, we uh, so the base because most projects are from a existing company, so there is uh, per maintain design. Okay, so the structure is there. Uh, in-depth knowledge uh, could be R&D um, so it's a standard career path you day, do day-to-day -day work and uh, even though the team member is part of the project they are still committed uh, or connected to the original uh, department for example Uh, other weakness is uh, functioning in silo, okay. Uh, lack of customer focus, for example, okay. Uh, they are in, in depth, specialized in the skill, they lack custom, customer focus or soft skill, for example. Uh, and project will take definitely long time, and because of uh, The nature of the project is new and it's not so optimized. Okay. Next, we have a uh, project structure. Okay. Strength, we have project manager, the sole authority, the one person, um, and it's expensive to set up and maintain team. Okay, and uh, because individual being tasked to do several items for example uh, improve communication okay yeah, because it's a small team people can communicate easily uh, in terms of the opposite is loyalty okay they move because of their career advancement they want to be loyal to the project if it's successful okay and it's very uh, 
effective in decision making because the chain of command is very little and things can get be done quickly. Uh, no pool of specific knowledge. Uh, companies do have so many people with so much, so much knowledge and there's no specialized in the task at hand. Um, next creation of project management expert okay. as individuals start doing the project they become expert in the field okay. so after they complete or the project is full they will be assigned to the project okay. they will be back to their own routine job and lastly a rapid response quick decision Next, we have the metrics of uh, project management. Uh, we have the dynamic environment where different departments uh, or different team members work together. Um, and this will allow efficiency of the project at task. Uh, also, also, communication between uh, cross function, for example and every uh, bit of work is maximized or optimized uh, which I men mentioned earlier there are two hierarchy uh, the project man uh, team member have to report to the project manager and their own bosses okay uh, negotiation quiet okay uh, basically you have to share their time and split their time and sometimes they are caught between to complete the project or to complete their own work so let's take a look at the heavy project examples here we have uh, Lockheed Martin which is quite famous for their skunk work uh, the company is basically a aviation company for the defense and a fully dedicated company uh, which um, for example they created the U-2 bomber uh, the F-35, the Nighthawk okay, and the latest uh, F-22 Raptor for the US Air Force um, so as project managers uh, are involved in this project they have the authority to to expand for example one project to another okay. uh, and there's a lot of opportunity for them to uh, uh, in terms of this uh, aviation market where they are technically the, play, the pioneer uh, where no, no other company has invented the product okay. and basically their customer is the US government in terms of offices uh, project manager usually have, uh, have their own uh, location or office um, where they will have all the technical details, uh, skills or expertise uh, reported to them, um, documentation, okay, uh, for them to track the project. Forms of uh, PMO or project management office. Uh, here we have uh, weather station, okay, for example, monitoring and tracking of weather, uh, control tower, okay. Um, where they have overview of the project, okay. Pool resources, okay. Uh, it could be in terms of uh, human skill, uh, support of hardware, software, okay. Uh, let's take a look at organization culture. So, uh, as we engage to a new project, we bound to have 
uh, uh, communication uh, and behavior uh, and new people new stuff to learn okay and usually it's unwritten rule okay uh, where they will learn to know each other to get along uh, with the team member right and where they have some a common bond for example technology uh, okay code love uh, for example uh, coding or doing hardware okay. and he met another team member who's into that and they could work together and the project will go uh, go, go go faster yeah okay. uh, the environment uh, for example the lab okay, the offices that's available uh, location do they need to travel or they have to use zoom uh, reward system do you get time off uh, salary compensation what's the rules procedure okay who are the key member so what happens if you have a incident for example if the project fail okay. so this does influence the culture okay now uh, let like we mentioned earlier and uh, having said that it does affect uh, the project okay, in terms of uh, interaction uh, what are the goals you know, plan and pro uh, performance evaluation uh, overall uh, being a project manager is a balance um, of uh, management and communication and even soft skill and many other things okay uh, could be ex technical expertise and a successful project manager uh, would require all these factors uh, in order to make the task uh, accomplishable in a short limit of time okay so that's about all for chapter 2 uh, if you have any question please email me and do stay safe thanks bye bye